John Pellin, and we're here with Craig Pearson of ITP in sunny Florida, which isn't so sunny right now. We're uh, almost in what's going to be Hurricane Dennis. Well, it is Hurricane Dennis, just not here yet, but it's on its way. Craig, what do you think about uh, this race that's about to happen? Is it more of a cross country where we're going to need the, <laughs> the big taller tires or what? Uh, it, it might be. I've had a lot of guys ask me, do I have any tires with me? <laughs> really? uh, uh, we've got a little bit of stuff down here, but uh, the guys are set up for motocross. Um, a couple of guys just walked the track and said, "You know what? It's deep. The ruts are deep. A couple wow. foot of water in one of the turns." So they want the cross. So I think they're gonna up. they're gonna run the biggest tires they can, probably some twenty inch tires. Okay. To, and these guys are gonna drag bottom. So guys with the bigger tire definitely gonna have a chance, uh, especially if they get a good start. So right. kind of unfortunate, but um, hey, it's a great event and it'll look good. I That's, think either way. Yeah, yeah. I, I, we've gone over that every interview we've got i, I get giddy about it it's just yeah. such a cool thing for our sport great event. hey um of all the riders here so you probably know you've been here long enough you've got uh well 16 in the main here 24 total of all the 24 i bet you there's a lot running itp tires you know the number or uh no exact number but uh the Seems suzuki like guys yeah um you know gus and jones and uh uh we've got travis fader now in that program okay. um uh, Doug Eichner uh, won this afternoon. Oh, yeah. uh, William Yokeley, they finished one two running the 19 inch tires. Oh, really? In the race today after we had some rain. So, uh, that might yeah, be I think we might, we right might there, have then. a little advantage off the start. Yeah, so yeah, okay. We're, we're, we're hoping to see that in the main. Okay. Well, hey, we're asking everybody the same question. You've got this experience, what ESPN is all about. What's your favorite thing about what they're doing for us here? Oh, I just think the broad audience that we're going to, you know, be exposed to, right. and the professional coverage they're going to give to it. Um, hopefully, we'll take this, you know, to the next level, and they'll they'll bring ATVs back again if it's what they wanted to see. And you know, so far, I think it's been a great show. Right. Going back to your personal racing career, you were uh, a top-rated pro and did well on your own back then, and been around this sport for a long time. How has it compared to something that you've done in the past? Uh this is probably the biggest thing since uh, probably the old Mickey Thompson days. Okay. You know, when you got good coverage and, yeah. you know, filled the stadiums and on the West Coast. Uh, and, you know, there was never any real TV exposure like this. Um, right. So this is this is pretty neat. What a step forward. Right. Being an ex-racer like yourself, do you get the itch ever? You sit here in the oh, stands. Oh, yeah. It looks awesome. great. I do, I too. It looks like a bunch of fun. I do, too. I'm yeah. like, man, I wonder how I'd run today. But, yeah, yeah. you get the same yeah. thing. Yeah, it's they, in us. They'd have to have a vet class. Right, right, right. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for talking to us. And uh, we'll wish uh, the, the winner ITP kind of luck. Hey, so, I'm hoping so. Right on. Hoping take, for a whole shot. Take care, Craig. All right. See ya. Thanks.